Hello everyone, welcome back to Scented Moments channel. My name is Yolima and today I will do a review of a fragrance from the house of José no Mateo and the fragrance is Five. This one right here. I already talked about this fragrance in several videos um, featured on my top 10 best night out fragrances which was my very first, I think, top 10 video. Uh, I will leave the link here. I also mentioned this fragrance on my top 10 best ambers. Uh, I mean, five underrated fragrances, then the list goes on. I think it's five, four or five videos that I already mentioned this fragrance, so I think it's about time to do a proper review of this fragrance, which I absolutely love. This is one of the most sexy fragrances in my collection. This is simply stunning and it's it's unique. I mean, it seems that the vibe that it transmits, the sweet amber uh, might be familiar, but I, I think this is unique in its own way. This starts with a blast of white florals, mainly Lily of the Valley, and I get a bit of gardenia also. But those floral notes are so well blended with this sweet, smooth, airy amber that, that it's to die for. And then you have this musk in the base that it's simply amazing, super sexy. Um, and quite honestly, this is a linear fragrance. This is very well balanced, so the main notes, and it's what you get through the entire life of the scent, is this white floral accord surrounded by this enveloping, warm, sexy amber with musk in the base. Quite linear, but in a very good way. Um, the projection in this one, it's quite good, and the performance, it's really good. Uh, I get nine hours with solid longevity and two to three hours of projection. It creates an amazing central, a nice cloud around you. People will notice you when you will wear this one. Uh, in terms of occasions, I think this is perfect for summer evenings, for upscale events, or for night out, close encounter situations, you name it. Uh, I would skip this for work or office environments, but other than that, I think it will fit for the occasion. This is unisex, uh, not even too masculine, not even too feminine. Man and woman can pull this one off easily. My girlfriend, Gintara, she loves this one. Actually, she wore this a lot last summer, just like I did. Uh, so it fits for both genders. And in terms of seasons, I think this is quite versatile. Also, I think you can wear this through the entire year. Uh, maybe not in the hot summer day, um, because it can be too cloying. Uh, other than that, I think you can wear this in winter, spring, fall, summer, cool days of summer or summer evenings. It will work perfectly, so that's why for me this one is amazing. One of my best discoveries of 2018 and it's also featured on that video. I love this brand. Um, Joseno Mateo is a niche perfume house that it's located in Barcelona. Uh, they have uh, now they have six fragrances in their line. It's called literally one, two, three, four, five, and the new one six that it was released last year. They have here in this gold uh, plate here the accords. Here you have floral, amber, and sensual musk. I love uh, four, number four, which is saffron, vanilla, and oud. It's to die for, it's so good. The oud, I don't know if it's natural oud, but it smells like it. And also number one, it's really good with the bergamot and the tea leaf. So good, it's perfect for the upcoming spring and summer. So overall, this is a very solid house. Sad that Jose and Mateo doesn't have a large uh, distribution. It's not easy to find outside the European Union, uh, but nonetheless try to find this and if you do sample this, it's worth checking out. Guys, hope you enjoyed my video. This is one of my favorites. 
Tell me if you try this, what are your thoughts about five from Jose and Mateo? Beautiful presentation also. And see you in the next video. Take care. Ciao.